right, so this last time you went to prison, even though it was the feds, you been in prison before. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Do you ever feel like, this is a, this is a real question though, do you ever feel like you may have ever have trauma left over from doing time? Uh, it's gonna take me a second to shake back. I understand that because I know the shit I just saw and what I was just around. And, you know, it's gonna take me a second to snap back. Once I snap all the way back, though, you know what I'm saying? It's just tight shit. You're not gonna live one way for four and a half years and then in 30 days you just back to normal like nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah. Like a nigga lives through and saw some shit. Yeah, I was out here doing COVID. Imagine being in jail doing COVID. Yeah, for real. Just, just imagine. No, just really just think about that. Couldn't nigga. go nowhere. People that are getting sick in that bitch. <sighs> Niggas catching COVID and that bitch dying. You scared, then eat motherfucker, nigga. Like, can't go nowhere. God, that shit was just different. People ain't gonna fuck. Nah. <laughs> That's what they owe. Like, nah. Yeah, you barely can call home. They got to wipe the phone. Like, that shit was just different. That was hard time. I hate my first three years for real. First two and a half. Now, the last two was player. Yeah, because you knew it was on the way out? Yeah, the last two was player. But the, the first one, man, that shit that drunk, man. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. The, uh... What's the conditions in the feds like? Is it better? I know, like, what they got. They email. got the commissary better. Yeah. Depending on where you at. Yeah. So all that shit on where you at. Because every spot in the feds is different. No two spots are the same. Because it's different people in different cars. They got different yards. It's different levels of security. It's different. Everything's different everywhere. So it's just really one way you go. Yeah. That's just what it is. You get to a good spot, you can really live good, my nigga. You get to a bullshit spot. Yeah. Like you don't want to go nowhere in Pokemon. For real. Pokemon meet them cool because they had, you know, those phones and we could play, make you some money. But when they start clamping down on that shit, that shit be a headache. So shit is different, my nigga. Yeah. I'm going to say that much. That shit is different. Like, you want to go somewhere else, you can do you. Like, my silly had 85. He had just did a 30 piece in the state and had 85 years to do in the feds for the same sense. Fuck. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just different. It depends, my nigga. No two spots are the same. You don't want to go to no pen nowhere. But you know what I'm saying? Mediums, yeah. It could be good. It could be bad. Lows, you're gonna be great. You're just gonna be in an environment you don't want to be around. Because at the lows, it's mostly rats and child molesters, yeah. and they get killed at the mediums and pens. So they got to put them niggas at the lows. And the lows got the best living. Niggas at camps. Ah, oh, these the niggas that still living out here. Hmm. Them niggas got a job out here. They eat Texas Roll House and all type of shit at the camp. <laughs> but hey, them niggas go fuck out. They go out, go out fucking every weekend there and they be having shit going on. It be loud at the camps. I never had a privilege of going to no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Though? Yeah. I got what you call the record. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it wasn't too good. <laughs> Do you think it's more violent in the feds or the state? <sighs> Violence is e it's equal the amount. But the levels, the feds, it's, it's on a high level. level. It's on a high levels. But the violence is equal because, see, ain't nobody, ain't no car, niggas not crashing the car, that shit happen. That ain't happening in the state. Nigga gonna beat your bitch ass, you do some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Nigga gonna beat your bitch ass. State cars the same. I mean, the feds, the cars the same. Ooh, they get talked about, your own people get you. Ooh, but it's more dangerous because when they go up, somebody, every time he about to go up, somebody has potential to die. And they ain't doing no fighting in the feds. You got to understand, these niggas is trying to kill you. It's crazy. Like, they trying to kill you. They trying to put that bitch in your stomach, your neck. They trying to kill you, nigga. Like, yeah. So when they do go, the level of violence is on another level with the feds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be having knives in the state, though. Like, it don't be like the feds. I ain't going to lie here, nah. No danger. You know what I'm saying? You got some of the most dangerous gangsters in the world. The United States, United, United States penitentiaries, my nigga. Yeah. Maximum. All of them, the United States is maximum. So, you know what I'm saying? Then you got ADX, then one that's above the other. That's like, you know, with Larry Hoover, Free Larry Hoover, and uh, El Chapo, and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, shit. 
Is it a certain way you gotta move when you're in there? Free Jeff Fort. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's rules. It's a lot to that shit. Yeah. It's a lot to that shit. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of people die in the hell. It's crazy. That's not the thing. Like, oh, it's like, oh, it's a lot of people die. Hell yeah. Get killed in that bitch. Yeah, they ain't never going home to their family because of some bullshit that happened in jail. Like, you gotta be careful in that motherfucker. I was saying, see, different niggas don't have different experiences because you got niggas that's actually going places that's rocking. And you got people that's going to these Pez and Peon, Lollipop laying ass spots, and they get out and act like they just so gangster, like they just hard ass bitch. You ain't been up well. So, and I know because I've been to both. I started at the worst of the worst, and slowly but surely at the end, like the last side I went to, pretty much a cake walk. Well, yeah. But it just, you know what I'm saying? Well, we was at, I was able to see different people from different places. I really got to see the Midwest culture. You know what I'm saying? The Michigan niggas, the Michigan Illinois gangsta, niggas. Yeah, yeah the, the, you know what I'm saying? I got to learn a lot like about how they gangs and shit is and just different shit up there. Like the GDs, the BDs, the Vice Lords, the uh, uh, Black Souls, and Black P-Stones. It's just a lot. That shit is like a whole different fucking world. Like there's so much shit up there that I had never heard of. You know what I'm saying? What's the main thing you learned about about they the way they run their gang shit? That shit different. It's different. That shit different. Yeah. That shit different in a bitch. It's it, it, you know you could try to think it's on the same. I thought I tried to think like, it like man, it's the same shit. Nah, it's not. It's just two different. You know what I'm saying? Like how they, they got the whole coalition thing going on. Like, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the feds, Bloods and Crips move together, but, and they got the Midwest gangs, they got a coalition, but shit different, homes. That shit different. Real sir? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think I remember seeing a nigga stabbed in the face by the phone. Seeing niggas. Oh, they killed this nigga by the stick of deodorant. I'll never forget that shit. A stick of deodorant? A stick of deodorant. Shit crazy. My silly head went to this nigga said to talk to him about some shit. They talking, this, 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 you know what I'm saying? And why are you talking like, hey man, what the fuck my deodorant at? And I let SA just came out of tell. He was talking to him before my silly went in there, so he running. He go out there, he making an announcement. Hey, my, 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 my deodorant just uh, went back in there, started talking to my silly. So a nigga came in there was like, hey, you said green degree deodorant? Yeah, he took the to him. He's like, yeah, he just came and brought me that full of dope. I just will, yeah. He took the deodorant, turned the bitch upside down in the little white cap he had. His initials carved in that bitch. This nigga got two, three life sentences. You know, a lot of niggas in that bitch got life. It's never coming home. So he carved that bitch. And he's like, yeah, he did? All right, well. So the nigga who had went in there before my said when I talked to him, Shit, this nigga go downstairs. He he uh watch the TV like ain't nothing. They come out of nowhere with a lock on a lunge and like boom. He cracked it on. He hit the floor. The nigga jumped on top of him. <laughs> Stand that nigga like that in the twenty two times, twenty eight times. Nigga was just leaking, bleeding. Nigga was sitting in the chair, watch the TV, seeing that shit, and just scooted it over and kept watching TV like what nothing going on. People, it was two COs, you know, do your rounds at the pen. <laughs> niggas was sitting in the office. Niggas came out to just do their rounds to see. Seen a nigga there. Oh, fuck. Everybody rack it up. This, 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 this is about the deodorant stick. I never seen that nigga again. They life like that nigga ass. He did not make it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole time that niggas on the ground, niggas just walking by, hitting him in the head with a lot. Thief ass niggas swelling and shit up, busting and shit. Like, for real. That shit was just different. You know what I'm saying? I say the fear is different, my nigga. You can get everything you're looking for. You got to be careful. And it go quick and fast. Yeah. Like, this is different. This shit dangerous than a bitch. State, I know I might have to whoop a nigga here, whoop a nigga here. Nigga might be on somebody ain't fighting you shit. You too big. That's cool. Feds, don't you put your hands on nobody, kids. You better keep your motherfucking hands to yourself, nigga. <laughs> nigga, yeah. You're going to butcher your bitch ass in this hoe. Nah, for real, it's a whole different movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be on your shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Man, that's a lot to uh, deal with. And then to, to be out and be free, like, that's a, di a difficult adjustment, man. Yeah. I'll get over it. Fuck it. I'm just keep fucking these bitches. <laughs> keep getting this motherfucking money. Keep making this music. Keep going up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Until I'm where I want to be. You feel me? That sound like the recipe for real. Yeah, like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah.